So what happened was when colonization came in and slavery, the ancient high priests, so some of them had to go underground and they had to retreat. So the ancient metaphysical knowledge of it pertaining to your physical body died out with those particular priests. Some people believe if you don't, if you go at a leg by the wrong way, you can get hurt. You ever heard this before? He's the God of the crossroads. The Spirit said, you know better. That's for the other people, even the people in the Europe, but they're still thinking that the Orishas is some objective entity outside of themselves. But you know a vast knowledge that they ain't nothing but you. You understand what I'm saying? So now I don't have to them go and get some of the magic to do the shit. I just tell them. So I say, so I said, go, you cut old shoe now, you show, I say, fuck old shoe, that bitch. Now how did I say that? I say, I'm old shoe. I'm old shoe. I can say what the fuck I want to old shoe. I'm old shoe. If the same end, if we all the same damn energy, then fuck it, I can cuss my damn self out. www.hoodmystic.com Leave your ego at the door. And we back. www.hoodmystic.com proudly presents Oshun Ibu Kule in the path of the vulture. Now, vultures are the most righteous of birds. They do not even attack the smallest creature. When we think about vultures and them eating carcasses, that really is stopping the spreading of diseases. That really is something that is done that is necessary for nature to kind of evolve and grow is based upon the vulture and that's why in Egyptian mythology the vulture was the predominant animal the letter a is signified by the by the symbol of the vulture so in this conversation we'll reference the personification of the vulture which is found in Oshun Ibu Kole. Now, when most people think about Oshun, they imagine a beautiful goddess adorned with jewels and just beautiful, voluptuous, sexy, beautiful woman. But people don't really discuss the paths of Oshun and the primary path of Oshun being Oshun Ibu Kole. Oshun rules the rivers, creeks, and streams of the world uh, she personifies love, fertility, and will aid us in all money matters. Uh, another way to identify Oshun is within the bloodstream. Oshun is in with is within all of us. The divine feminine is within all of us. She represents the princess or the youngest Orisha, which means that this Orisha is most connected to the people. That's why in most Orishas. If you don't know any Orishas, you know about Oshun. So in this conversation, we'll talk about the Oshun that's not talked about in regular conversation. Um, she has many different paths. You know, all Orishas have many different paths. And just discussing one isn't going to give us the whole picture of Oshun. So I'm just going to just, <laughs> I'm just discussing one path and it's important to discuss the, to research the many other paths of Oshun. When it comes to referencing Oshun Ibu Kule, this is the deity that has saved the world many times in many different ways based upon the energy of being a vulture. Because when you think of a vulture, a vulture flies very high in the air. And this is a way that the ancients viewed it as a, a way of talking to God. So these whether in America or Africa, this animal was the closest animal to God. And so this animal was venerated the same way as Oshun Ibu Kule was venerated. So we'll talk about the different ways that this shows up throughout history. Uh, in understanding Oshun Ibu Kule, they are inseparable. The vulture and her are inseparable. Just meaning that you cannot talk about one without talking about the other. And so in discussing Oshun Ibu Kule, there's not a lot of information online about this deity, 
but what there is a lot of information about is the vulture so in studying the vulture we can understand the most ancient most powerful totem that most people are unaware of and they don't necessarily deal with so like i said earlier oshun ibukule is inseparable from the vulture she's unable to be separated or treated separately from the vulture they say that this path is the one that collects and receives the trash so vultures they eat only carcasses and dead animals they don't kill live animals that makes the vulture primary like the vulture doesn't kill animals it eats animals that are already dead and even so if a vulture is to be circling over your home or circling around the area it signifies that death is near and this relates to Oshun Ibokule because it is said that she actually watches over the home she watches over everyone's home um, when you think of Oshun you think of the yellow dress and Oshun Ibukule has a white dress but they say that she rolls around in the mud and she's always near the water and so she only has one dress and so after many times of washing the dress and it getting dirty washing it again it eventually turned yellow so any other path of Oshun the dress is now yellow representing the initial path working of Oshun Ibu Kule this is why she is honored above all Oshun paths because the white signifies purity and then as you know as we've been discussing these dark goddesses she is another personification of the witch and if you want to learn more about the witch please check out the previous video where we discussed Lilith what I want to do with these dark goddess videos is show a common thread between them all so we can begin to stop separating these energies and externalizing these energies these energies are very intuitive to our understanding of our internal dialogue so if you are a holistic healer you do energy work or you have dreams of being an entrepreneur and creating your own path it's very important to channel this energy within you of Oshun Ibukule the energy of the witch now Oshun Ibukule is known as the vulture and this vulture once there's a pataki of Oshun Ibukule and Olafai there was a drought in the world and there was no water and there was nothing nobody could reach Olofai except the vulture and so as when Oshun took on the character of the vulture she flew up to Olafai and told them all about the drought that was entered into the world and so Olofai granted that wish and so the drought was restored but he did have a caveat he said that if anybody wanted to deal directly with me you would have to go through Oshun Ibu Kule now this this is why in Cuba this version of Oshun is venerated higher than all and this also speaks to that if you ever needed something far as money or immediate relief to your financial situation it is most necessary to petition this energy because Oshun Ibu Kule is the most magical and powerful of all of all witches you know she is honored and above all Oshuns so in understanding this which we'll kind of finish with of how to utilize this power uh, let's first deal with the vulture because like I said there's not a lot of information on Oshun Ibu Kule on the internet or in books and things of that nature but what there is a lot of information about is about the spiritual esoteric meanings of the vulture the vulture represents purity harmony and prevention based upon its high level of sight it can see what's coming alert you to what's coming so those things never hurt you harmony so the vulture then represents purity as well because it's not going to kill anything it's not going to hurt anything but the harmony that it does from eating the carcasses is actually good for the environment so the idea of the vulture is that you're not noticed for how you look and how you appear uh, most people are repulsed by vultures honestly uh, so 
because they are repulsed they don't really deal with the energy or the understanding of the animal so therefore the vulture then represents to be noticed for what you do the cultivation or the harmony of the environment uh is very much what's needed and so since oshun ibu kule had one dress and rolled around in the mud she never had a pleasant exp a, a pleasant appearance but people deal with oshun based upon her pleasant appearance so the paradox within this conversation is that just because you know an energy for how it looks there is an origin and a backstory to how they got to their high level of success their high level of beauty and law of attraction it didn't start from beauty it started from the dirt or you know started from the bottom like drake was saying oshun ibu kule is not known for her words looks she's actually revered for her actions oshun ibu kule has attributes very similar to the ancient egyptian goddess Mut. and then if we can connect the goddess Mut to oshun ibu kule then we can get further further understanding of this energy because what tends to happen is that we think that deities in egyptian mythology exist in egyptian mythology the deities in hindu mythology exist in hindu mythology the deities that exist in pagan the deities that exist in orichas and all of these deities are separate but the reality is that all of these deities are the same it's just different cultural interpretations of the same thing so in reference in Mut, Mut being the mother goddess of the ancient egyptians she was considered a vulture as well she was considered to be the protecting nurturing mother and like i said in egyptian hieroglyphs the 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 primary letter a is the symbol of the vulture meaning she was synonymous with the mother synonymous with creation the primary symbol we have to really understand that and so the description of Mut is very very similar to the description of oshun ibu kule orishas thus become not just things that you know exist in a vacuum they are ancient universal energies that really have to be understood by you and really connect those dots because somehow some way i can't really say how or where or what we've lost that connection so in finding that connection we can really get to this dark goddess thing we can really understand what this dark goddess energy is about it's about creation so in these kind of conversations, I always get talks like, you know, what should I do? How should I do this? I need help with this spell. I need help with this ritual. When you deal with the energy of Oshun Ibu Kule, quite simply, you have to learn to create and craft your own spells. Because if you ever reference the spell, if you ever reference the ritual, it was created by somebody else exactly like you. Thus, we all have the ability and power to channel and transfer this energy of purity, magic, spell work within ourselves. And this is what the energy really speaks to, as in referencing an entrepreneur or an energy worker. These are things that are very much self-created, and we really need to find it within ourselves to pull from ourselves the divinity that's within us and then create specific spells specific rituals with our own specific intentions and knowing that we have the power to do so by channeling this energy the power of creation is available right now and the power of creation is available right now for you you really do have the power to utilize all of the elements craft your own rituals based upon as above so below and this is the power of oshun ibu kule and the overall power of the dark goddesses these are levels of empowerment these are levels of getting to a place where you never once imagined you could be but through the power of ritual through the power of spell and through the power of repetition you are going to be in a place that you never realized that you could be in and understanding the major point of this is that it's not based upon appearances nothing about this energy nothing about this oshun is based upon appearances when every time you think about oshun is simply primarily based on appearances so we have to really deal with that because in this world is all about appearances 
So if appearances are the things that you're really into, who has the prettiest spells, who has the prettiest altars, then you're missing the point. It's about work. And if you are doing the necessary work without looking for credit, looking for a claim, but you are living a life of intention, a life of ritual, a life of repetition, then you are in line with the energy of Oshun Ibu Kule. And there is nothing that cannot be accomplished for you, you know. But mainly, you know, if I wanted to surmise, you know, really putting forth the effort to really study and get into the craft and understand that life is something to be controlled, understood and controlled and empowered. And once you really tap into this energy, just like the vulture, just like the raptor, this energy will guide you. And so I just really wanted to do a quick, quick video on the energy of on Oshun Ibu Kole and invite you to do your own research. And if you have anything to add to this conversation, please feel free to do so in the comments. You can email me at hoodmystic at gmail.com. Real quick, <laughs> I just wanna let you know, I do have a book that's available right now on Amazon that you can get right now for $2.99 for the Kindle ebook, $8.88 for the workbook. It's how to read your natal signs easily and effectively and create it in your own language. If you want to know more information about that book, please email me at hoodmystic at gmail.com or just click the, click the links in the description. Make sure you read the reviews. Understand that this is a powerful book that relates to the dark god, that relates to the dark goddess energy in reference to you creating your own life in reference to you creating your own path. I hope this energy and I hope this conversation has been helpful. If there's any other topics that you want me to look at, any dark goddesses that you are interested in, please feel free to email me, give me suggestions because this channel is not for me. This channel is for you. So with that being said, www.hemistic.com is the movement. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. Uh, one more final note, uh, if, if, if it moves you, you've been paying attention to my channel lately and the effort that I've been putting into these videos, is based upon a lot of time and a lot of effort. So I'm really, really, like if you made it this far in the video, I'm really asking you to use those links, those donation links, if you have a dollar, $2, $20, you know, throw it in the cash app because, you know, this is the work that I'm doing. I'm in my mind, I'm imagining that, you know, it is helpful to people. And if it's helpful to you, um, Please, you know, show that appreciation dollar, two dollars, you know, Patreon subscription where you get monthly free readings, you know, email me, figure out ways that you can help. And even if you don't have any money to help this channel, a simple thing, you know, these videos get hundreds of views. So that should equate to hundreds of shares. So at the very, very least, could you please, please, please share this video on your social media platforms and, you know, do a nice little, you know, caption to make people want to watch this video, you know, just really spread the word about this because, you know, I never really asked for much, you know, but in this particular instance, I am, you know, so if it moves you to donate, if it moves you to share, please, please, please do so. And with that being said, peace, everybody have a wonderful day, evening, night, wherever this video finds you. I'm the Hemistic. Representing www.hemistic.com. Peace.